What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyel, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into this video. These are actually channel messages. Now, typically, I want my channel messages in this book, but for some reason, I could not find this book when I was ready to channel. So these channel messages are going to be on a random piece of paper here, okay? Um, but I really hope it resonates, and so let's get into this video. So when I was channeling, what I picked up on is that you actually do have somebody that is very solid in your energy here, okay? If somebody in your energy or somebody that you are connected to this person would never ever ever judge you here okay i feel like for a lot of you guys this is actually your lover your boyfriend or your girlfriend or the person that you are talking to for some of you guys this is your brother or your sister it's like somebody that you're like this to for some of you guys you could have a best friend that is definitely solid here your mom um somebody of that energy here okay but this is somebody who definitely is looking at you here this person never judge you and they never would judge you here i feel like you guys are in an energy where you're manifesting here okay so some of you guys you might be to other people in a delusional type of energy like you're saying you got all this and you ain't got it yet like let's say you're like oh i got this house i got this car and you're not in that energy quite yet this is somebody that's not gonna look at you like this is somebody that's like yeah yeah you are gonna have that or yeah i see that for you this is somebody that also knows how to manifest here okay or they know exactly what you're doing they know you're trying to bring certain things into fruition and they never judge you for that here okay for some of y'all that might be doing it with you yes we're rich yes we're wealthy whatever this is this is somebody that's like this to you here okay and like i said you could be yourself around this person you can even share some of your manifestations with this person because they're not gonna make you feel weird they're not gonna make you feel like your dreams are impossible here okay they're not gonna make you feel like the things that you want are impossible here okay um i feel like you're like i said in manifestation mood and this person is really cool i also feel like this is somebody that's going to help affirm your manifestations here if you say you're going to have this they're also saying i know you're going to have that and it kind of helps push you to get your manifestation instead of having naysayers around you here okay so yeah i definitely get that whoever you're connected to whoever this person is your best friend your sibling your mom your lover your husband your wife whoever this person is they definitely got your back here and like i said they do not judge you at all here okay they actually like your style of doing things is what i'm hearing here okay now i do feel like you guys you have slept on yourself in the past some of you guys you have abandoned yourself some of you guys you started abandoning your gifts here because some of y'all you have like a really strong um gift of manifesting here of bringing things into fruition here okay some of you guys you started like i said um abandoning some of your gifts here some of you guys you really felt like imposters so some of you guys you suffer from imposter syndrome let's say you're an amazing artist and it's like okay i'm gonna make this art and i'm gonna put my family in position and like you really do have the potential to do that it's almost like you started looking at yourself in a distorted way or your art in a distorted way and thinking like maybe i can't do that maybe i'm not as great as i think i am maybe i'm a fucking fraud it's almost like you started to look at yourself in ways that are not you here okay this person Will never let you look at yourself in that way this is somebody that's going to affirm to you who you are as well bro you know that you the shit you know that that ain't true bro let me tell you how true you really are let me tell you how genuine you really are bro let me post your shit for you i bet you a million dollar a, a million people will be after your shit i bet you somebody will pay a million dollars for your shit it's something like that where somebody really has your back so there's times like i said where you're looking at yourself and you're like i'm not that great i'm not all that Maybe I'm ugly. Maybe I'm lame. It's like you're looking at yourself in certain ways, but this person will literally bring you up. No, you're really everything that you think you are. Let me tell you how great you really are, okay? So this is somebody that really has your back, and they really do see your potential here, okay? Like I said, y'all was viewing yourself in a distorted type of way, and I feel like for some of y'all, you're viewing yourself in this way, or you were viewing yourself. Some of you guys, you're still viewing yourself in this way, but somebody's going to help bring you out of this energy. Like, no, bro, you're really the shit. Like, somebody's going to make you see how much of the shit that you really are okay because some of y'all you're like something's fucking with your confidence or it was okay now i do feel like there are a lot of people that were watching you from the sidelines while you were being abused here this could be a reason why you're seeing yourself in ways that are not you like you're like maybe i'm a mean ass maybe i'm lame maybe i'm ugly maybe i'm not that talented 
I'm probably not going to be that successful. It's like that. And there were a lot of people watching you on the sidelines because you, the reason that you were thinking this way is because you were being abused in some sort of way. Some of you guys were being abused mentally. Like somebody had you really thinking that you was lame or whack or that you were not talented or going to make it. Some of you guys, you literally were going through some type of physical abuse. And some of you guys, you were going through some type of spiritual abuse here, okay? But I'm getting, while you were going through this abuse, nobody did anything, but they were all watching you go through this abuse. They were all watching you go through whatever this is that made you look at yourself like, maybe I'm not all that. Maybe I'm not going to be wealthy. Maybe I'm lame. Maybe I'm this. Maybe I just suck. It's like something made you look at yourself as you suck or you are whack or you're not who you are. Okay? And like I said, everybody else is looking at all of this shit happening to you and they're looking at, um, they're looking at it like... Like I said, on the outside looking in, but nobody did anything. Like I said, this could have been your ex making you feel like you're nothing. Uh, a, a parent making you feel like you're nothing. It could have been just people in your city, state, town making you feel like you're nothing for some reason here. And like I said, everybody was seeing this happen. And then someone said, was like, oh, damn. Oh, I don't want to get involved with that here, okay? But like I said, whoever this other person is, they see your light. They know that people sleep on you. And the reason they know that people are sleeping on you and the reason they know that people are doing this to you and they pay so much attention is because people have done this to them as well. So whoever this person is that has your back, they have been done the same exact way that you have been done, okay? They have imposter syndrome as well. Sometimes they feel like they're not that great either, okay? But they recognize that they are great. And like I said, they recognize the greatness in you and they also, see how other people treat you they see how other people have not taken up for you they see how other people just sit there and watch you get abused in some sort of way here okay so this is why this person decides to have your back this is why this person is um on your side like that this is why this person is cheering you on like that okay i put you got a friend in me here okay um some of the folks may be a little bit stronger than I am. Maybe. But none of them would ever love you the way I do. Just you and me, boy. So, yeah, whoever this is, like, they feel like, man, people be hating. People sit there and watch you get abused. And then they sit there and watch, you know, pe watch people make you make you see yourself in a different way. Okay? So, like I said, this person is... um viewing that here okay they feel like you're really a vibe and you really are a vibe here you're actually somebody to get to know you're actually a really cool individual here and like i said they notice that people are sleeping on you i'm hearing they sleeping they sleeping they sleeping they sleeping on me but i don't waste my time trying to prove that i'm something to see oh the real ones they something basically the real ones know and the ones who do not i don't need okay because i'm I'm honest, I'm honest, I'm telling no lies. Maybe you're very honest. It's almost like, like I said, these people who don't fuck with you, they're not supposed to anyway here, okay? You're not supposed to fuck with them anyway. But this person is recognizing that people have been sleeping on you, but you actually are a vibe and people really hating on you. That's all, okay? I also feel like you are, the, you're somebody's favorite person. Like whoever this is, if this is your lover, this person loves you. You are their favorite person, okay? If this is your cousin, your sibling, like I said, this person loves you. You are their favorite person. This person is so excited to see you. This person is so excited to be connected to you. Every time you and this person talk, they get excited. Every time you tell this person you're going to come see them, they get excited. Every time you, they say they're going to come see you, maybe you get excited here, okay? But like I said, there is one person or at least one person that is super solid to you and they love the fuck out of you here okay i feel like for some of y'all y'all might uh, uh be getting ready to meet up with this person or see this person pretty soon here okay if you're not already in this person's energy some of y'all y'all might live with this person like this could be your lover here and they get excited just to be around you here okay but like i said it's giving me you and this person are locked in once we locked in ain't no switching up ain't no switching up here okay this person is not someone who would switch up on you here okay um now, I feel like, like I said, there might be like a meetup coming up between you and this person that loves you so much. Um, because I'm picking up on the fact that when one goes home or when one goes to work, the other is like really missing the other. Like, oh man, I miss my cousin. Like, she's the best. He's the best. I miss my best friend. Man, I miss my woman. I, w I miss my man. Like, whoever you are to this person, like I said, this person, they really, really love you here, okay? And when, whenever you guys are not in the same area, they are missing you here. Like I said, whenever it's time to see each other again, they get super excited. This person loves you, okay? Uh, some of y'all, this person might come to your house and take something. 
I, and I also put in parentheses, not that serious, because it's literally giving me this is your best friend, this is your sibling, this is your mom, this is somebody that you're like this to, okay? So, like I said, they're coming over and they're taking something stupid. Like, they came over and they ate your food or something. I don't think this is offending you or anything. I think this is just giving me a view on who this person is to you. Like, they feel comfortable enough to come over to your house and eat your cereal. They come com comfortable enough. They feel comfortable enough to come over and eat a bowl of noodles. They feel comfortable enough to come steal some toilet paper. It's that type of vibe. And you might catch it like, girl, did you steal my shit? Did you take my whatever the fuck? And might come steal an outfit. But this is not like... Bitch, you stole my shit. Get the fuck away. It's not that type of energy here. This is more so, ooh, you got that? I don't got that. Thank you. Some of y'all, y'all might be doing this to them because some of y'all, this is your parent. Okay, you go you go shopping at your mama's house because I go shopping at my mama's house. Fuck that. It's like that type of energy here, okay? Like, I really do go shopping at my mama's. <laughs> okay, Um, but um, yeah, it's almost like somebody's taking something from the other, but it's not no hard feelings. It's almost like, damn, go get your own, okay? <laughs> now... I feel like the reason why you and this person are coming toward each other, one of y'all needs to vent or you guys really need to vent to each other. Like I'm telling you, for some of y'all, this person might be in an energy where they they're going through imposter syndrome right now and you are the person that's going to tell them like, no, you're the shit, get the fuck up. Like, do you not see who you are? And some of you guys, like I said, they need to vent. But I feel like this is going to be like a really good venting session. For you and this person, I feel like you and this person are venting toward each other. Man, I've been going through this for the last couple days, for the last few weeks, for the last few months. And then it's like you're able to vent to them as well, okay? This is not a draining energy. This is more so like you want to hear what they got going on and you got the tools to help them. And they also want to hear what you got going on and they got the tools to help you here, okay? So like I said, it seems like you and this person are going to... Uh, vent to each other because either you have lost your self-confidence it like disappeared out of nowhere or they lost lost their self-confidence and their self-confidence disappeared out of nowhere so like i said somebody's feeling down and the other one got the other's back like i said you and this person are like this whether it's your love a friend family member okay um so yeah i feel like y'all gonna talk because somebody needs to figure out like what happened I was feeling real good and then suddenly I'm looking in the mirror and I feel like I'm not the shit. This could be you and your friend got your back like, bro, let me let you know. Or some of y'all, like I said, they're coming towards you and they're like, I haven't just been feeling myself. Like, I feel like I'm not all that. I'm not that creative. And you're like, bro, some of y'all, like I said, you guys are mirroring each other and y'all have the tools to help each other, bring each other up. Like, no, you're really awesome here. You're, all, you're really the shit here, okay? Um... Now, some of you guys, there is going to be a random energy that's going to try to join you in this person's session. Like I said, it's you and this person that you're like this to. But for some of y'all, either one, this person that has somebody third willing. So they have another friend. They got another love. They got their lover coming. Like, let's say it's your best friend. They got their lover. Hell, this is, like I said, you got a friend. They got another friend coming. You got a sibling. They friend want to pop up. You know, it's your parent, another sibling. It depends on who you are. But I do feel like there is another energy that is trying to kind of join in y'all session. But I think either you don't feel comfortable or your friend or whoever this person is does not feel comfortable here, okay? But I put a random energy tries to join your session. Some of you guys, you're 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 smoking with this person and y'all are venting. Some of y'all, like I said, y'all are going out for drinks and you guys are venting. Yeah, it's just giving me like there's a third party energy that is stringing along here. And for some of y'all, either one, if it's like your friend is bringing a friend from out of town or their friend, I don't feel like y'all are too open to this energy or they're not open to your new friend or your new lover. You take it how it resonates here. But I do get somebody else wants to join the session. I kind of feel bad, but it's almost like you don't know this person or this person doesn't know your friend or your whoever this person that you're so close to. Um, so it might make things a little awkward because they're coming to see you to vent or you're coming to see them to vent. But maybe you don't want to vent in front of somebody you don't really know like that. You don't want to vent in front of their boyfriend, their girlfriend. They don't want to vent in front of your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever. Okay. I also feel like some of you guys, like I said, you guys could have been feeling really um, isolated. Some of you guys, you don't really trust others. And like I said, it's this random energy, this other energy that wants to come in. Um. But it's something about this other energy. 
Like this other energy only wants to be around you because you have money, you're popular, or you're famous. So like I said, you and your best friend, you y'all meeting up again, y'all want to vent. And they bring their other friend. Their other friend only wants to connect with you because who you are, you're famous, you're popular, what you do for work. It's like they really want to meet you, but right now might not be the time. It's like they really want to meet you because of who you are or what you got going on. Some of y'all, this person really want to meet you because this other person loves you so much. So you don't have to take it how it resonates here. I feel like y'all not really in the energy or your friend or whoever this is is not in the energy to connect with this person here. But the only reason this person wants to connect with you is because they know that you're, you have money. Like, oh, yeah, that's your rich friend, ain't it? You're very popular. That's the one that's all over social media. That's the one that's very popular. That's the one that everybody knows. That's the one that be throwing them parties. Some of you guys are actually famous. So this other person, they only really want access to you, okay? They want access to you. They want to be able to say that they're, they're your friend as well or they're connected to you as well. This is not a genuine person here. So this is why some of y'all, y'all might stand off, come off kind of standoffish to this person or your friend might come off kind of standoffish to this person. They have an inkling that this person doesn't really want to connect with them. They only want to be connected to them because of popularity or fame. Some of y'all, they might be venting to, your friend might be venting to you about somebody that only wants to connect to them because of this here. So you have to take it how it resonates. But I am getting that this other person, this person thinks you're so quiet, but it's because you're not comfortable. You don't know them. They don't really know you here. Um, you and this person are not really true friends. You don't really know this person. I feel like, you show this person, like the person that knows you, that you're like this too. This person is able to see every side of you. Maybe when you don't know people, they may think you're more shy, you're more quiet here, you're more standoffish. It's because you don't know them here. So I do see you somewhat being somewhat quiet or standoffish towards somebody or your friend being more quiet or standoffish because they don't know this person. They don't really trust this person. You don't know this person. You don't really trust them here, okay? But like I said, whoever this person where you're like this with, um, you and this person are very goofy together and funny. And it seems like you and this person are going to help raise each other's vibration. Um, I do feel like this other person is a little too, too touchy for you and it makes you uncomfortable. Okay? Because like I said, it's like somebody is third willing and they're trying to like get in on the action. And it's almost like you're like, hey, don't touch me. I don't feel comfortable. Some of y'all, y'all might come off bitchy to this person. Some of y'all, y'all might, your friend might come off bitchy to this person. But it's because you or this friend is not comfortable here, okay? Um, I keep hearing that uh, you got a friend in me song. But it's a part in the song that I keep hearing. You got troubles, well, I got them too. There isn't anything that I wouldn't do for you. We stick together. We can see it through. Yeah, you got a friend in me. So, yeah, whoever this friend is, like this person who got your back, like I said, they see that you're going through troubles or you're seeing that they got, they're got they going through troubles. Y'all have been through the same trouble. Y'all have been through the same situation where people didn't support y'all out of jealousy here, where people watched y'all get abused and then didn't support y'all or didn't fuck with y'all here, okay? Where you had imposter syndrome or they had imposter syndrome. Y'all have been through the same troubles. And like I said, there is another energy. I don't think you're mean. I just don't think you're like, oh my God, this is really what it's giving me. This other energy wants you to be like buddy, buddy, but you don't know them. And you're buddy, buddy, friendly, friendly to this other person because that's your homie. That's your mom. That's your best friend. That's your lover. And this person wants you to be like that to them, but you're nothing like that to them because you don't fucking know them here. Okay. But, um, so that might, I don't think it's an issue. I just think maybe this person might end up feeling some type of way. But that's what I got for y'all. Hope it resonates. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. Go on, take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go on, take a little dip. Go on, take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.